my soul that you could never have peace which passes all understanding. Because it's not a cognitive peace, it's not an intellectual peace, it's a spiritual peace. And so you have peace in your spirit when your mind cannot understand where the peace is coming from. And for the looking at your situation, I cannot understand how you can be so cool because I have peace that you can figure out. Because it's not cognitive peace, it's spiritual peace. Uh, I don't know what I'm to talk to you about. Have you ever believed in your spirit that something would be alright? Uh, and you couldn't explain it. Uh, Someone says, well, how is it going to be alright? I don't know how. I just know it's alright. And I'm not praising him because I can figure it out. I'm praising him because I have an assurance in my spirit that everything is going to be all right. Uh, now, can, can I take it deeper before I, before I get happy? Uh, uh, hold that, hold that, I'm going to get happy in a minute. Uh, it's, uh, 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 let's take a visit with, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm hanging out with Mary and, uh, and Mary decides that she is going to celebrate her pregnancy with her cousin Elizabeth. So, so Mary goes to see Elizabeth with two boys that, that are unconscious in each one of their mother's womb. If you notice, they are separated by two thin layers of cutaneous tissue. And when the mothers come together, they tell me that Jesus in his unconsciousness and John in his unconsciousness, because I know Jesus is God, but he was not reading the Jerusalem Tribune in his mother's womb. He was totally unconscious in his mother's womb, and John was unconscious in his mother's womb. Yet when the two mothers came together, the Bible said that the child left when he came into the presence of Jesus, which means that John, in his unconscious state, had a revelation of Jesus while he was unconscious in his mother, which means that it was not intellectual or cognitive because both boys were unconscious when John got the revelation. Yet, the conscious John, years later, sends word to Jesus and asks, are you the one or should we look for another? The unconscious John knew who Jesus was, while the conscious John had problems figuring it out. Don't ever let your mind talk him out of your It's critical because now your concept of God becomes your faith in its uniqueness. And that tells me then that your faith becomes a fingerprint. You can't take my fingerprint. I find your name, I tell him, I feel blessed. I feel the blessings of the Lord. This is God's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes. Amen. We praise God for all of you and we greet you in the matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thanking God for this opportunity that he has availed us by which we can gather here and be able to dedicate this place. He wrote this in eternity, revealed it in time and slipped it down so that you and I may be able to become the recipients of this. Would you put your hands together and give God a praise? He alone deserves all the praise, all the honor and all the glory.